Hello everyone and welcome to Not a Scotch and a Beer with Officer Dan. I am pausing my story to go on a drift adventure across the country with a bunch of other idiots in what will be affectionately known as Drift Week USA. Hopefully there will be a Drift Week Japan and maybe a Drift Week Australia, maybe a Drift Week China. I don't know. This is going to be the first video series of this style, so I'm super pumped to be involved in that. You may have watched Brandon Wignick's video on it, so I figured I'd drop one as well. I know there's a lot of questions surrounding it, like can I go? No, we've already picked the drivers and it was decided back in October. So if you didn't know about it then, there's no chance you're going on it now. Maybe for the next one, who knows. Um, can I go to the tracks during the filming of these episodes? No. Uh, for insurance reasons, the track is not allowing spectators because we are doing stuff kind of under the cuff. So we don't want to have a lot of people there. Now when we do roll into a town, we do want to do kind of a meetup somewhere else. So in Albuquerque, I'm trying to organize that to be at round one. Who knows who's going to actually show up from our group. Everybody's probably going to be tired as hell from driving 12 hours and then driving all day at the racetrack. I don't know. I'll be there. But that's besides the point. Now the last question you may be asking is who is going on this stupid adventure across the country and who is putting it on in the first place? So there's going to be a six video series on the Lone Star Drift channel. This whole thing was brainchilded by Aaron Losey from Lone Star Drift. I had this idea a long, long, long time ago. I was wanting to put two drift cars on a trailer and have an RV filled with like six guys that are from the industry and go on a road trip to different events and have fun and film that road fool style. So this one is taking that and going to a whole nother extreme. I think there are 13 of us confirmed. There's going to be Taylor Ray, maybe Luke Fink, Jake Jones, Trevor Jameson, Michael Van Schellenbeck. Uh, Harrison Johnson, I think is going with Aaron Losey, Brandon Wicknick, Dustin Miles, Chelsea Denofa, Adam LZ, Aaron Losey, Fielding Shredder, Matt Field, Rudy Hansen, and Alex Francois. So it should be a very, very interesting cast of characters going on this adventure across the southern part of the United States. So in light of not doing a scotch and a beer, I am going to build a Z and a trailer. So this is going to kind of chronicle my adventures of getting the Z ready, as well as building a trailer to tow it 3000 plus miles uh, on this adventure. So I'm going to let the time lapses begin and I'm going to pause scotch and a beer for probably three weeks and then I'll get right back into the story. But I will be releasing a lot more content as we are going through this adventure across the United States. So thank you guys for joining in and here we go. Bumper cover is successfully off. Now I just need to take it. They're going to drill holes in this thing, mount the bracket, do the wiring. Then I have to take everything off and weld these brackets a little bit better because apparently they're just garbage. So that's the reason why I'm doing this now so I don't have to do it when it's dark and cold. Well, the tow hitch is officially installed. Little tiny guy. 
gonna be towing a big ass trailer. It's gonna be sketch AF and I'm totally into it. Got the wiring all set up. We're gonna see how this goes. Who knows? And it may not even work because I have stupid LED taillights. So I may have to rewire the old taillights back in, but you know, still gonna send it. All that's left now is to put the tail lights back in and I'm gonna bring it over to one of these here trailers and give it a try. See if the turn signals actually work and stuff. So I've been preparing for this trip for quite some time now. I was going to use the Z trailer, but it is way too heavy. I think it's already over what the recommended weight for that small, tiny little hitch is on the Z and I needed something else. So I got on Facebook Marketplace and I found this Harbor Freight trailer, which is their 1,790 pound gross weight one, already painted black, already had plywood decking on it for 300 bucks. So I am going to keep this project under $600 for this whole thing, and I'm gonna make a trailer that I can basically take anywhere in the country and go to drift events on the cheap. I'll give a basic rundown of the things that I've gotten for it. I got some basic strap tie downs for the actual deck. This is gonna be for the bins that we're gonna use on the road for our personal effects. I got some reflective stickers because it's kinda of hard to see because it's such a small trailer. Um, I got these little things, they're conduit pipe holders. They're gonna go underneath and that's where my lock is going to go. So the lock is gonna feed underneath the trailer, go all the way around and loop through the tires. So that's gonna be these and it's gonna be looping through these long cables. Uh, the lights don't work on this thing at all. They never got hooked up, they got ruined, they got destroyed. So got another light kit, 25% off from Harbor Freight. I got a spare tire mount, the spare tire is yet to get here. I am going to paint this decking black so that it's a little bit more water resistant and I'm going to finish off by painting the fenders. I might paint the wheels neon yellow. I need to mount eight wheels and tires on here. I need to mount a toolbox holder slash jack holder that's metal and lockable so that I can keep my stuff in there overnight. Gonna have the storage bins, going to have a 10 by 10 tent, a couple of chairs, a cooler, uh, room for a grill. All of that stuff needs to fit on this trailer. So that is what I am going to make happen right now. It's time-lapse time. -lapse time. Got it all painted up last night. Got the box mounted for the tools. Weighed everything so that I could have the proper tongue weight. Rewired it, put the new lights on everywhere. Now all I need to do is paint these black and figure out some strapping stuff. And I think it's gonna be good to go. We'll give it a road test.
Okay, so brought her outside, got it basically loaded up, at least with all the tires. There's gonna be the bins there, and then there's gonna be bins in that area as well. Got the locks mounted, so we can be somewhat secure. They're routed through those right there. That's gonna be really, really solid. So it's strapped up here at the top on both, as well as into each other here, pulling this way and pulling that way so that they're touching. And then one big strap going all the way around, holding everything in. I think that's gonna be a pretty good system for keeping these things secure as they bounce along the highway behind the Z. Now, in the front, I'm gonna have, can't even see that. In the front, I'm gonna have all of my tools inside of here where I can actually lock it, plus the jack. And I put the cardboard in there, hopefully, so it's not as loud as it's bouncing down the highway. So, when not in use, the straps can all go in here. It's secured in a bunch of different locations. I might actually end up welding it, just probably not gonna do it for this trip. But that should hold all of that. One box is gonna be for spare parts. The other one's gonna be for my personal belongings. Since my co-driver is gonna have dibs on the inside of the Z. But pretty stoked on the way that this thing has turned out so far. I think the only other things that I need to mount is going to be the spare tire, which is gonna mount on here, and a kind of jack, a swing down jack to keep this thing up so I don't have to lift it every time when it's fully loaded. That would suck. So even with the jack and probably each one of these weighs around 50 pounds when they're fully loaded, so 200 and 200, so 400 pounds of tires plus the jack plus some tools. Um, it's still under the 150 pound limit for the tongue weight. So we're doing good there. So today is also the day where I'm going to do a bunch of stuff to the Z as well. I have a radiator to install as well as a bunch of GK Tech goodies got front lower control arms, front upper control arms, and the Z33 angle kit. So pretty stoked on all that. Gonna get that done. Let me out. Oh, drift cars. <laughs> <sighs> Tech lower control arm is like installing a lift kit, so I'm gonna have to get back under here and lower it down. But huge thanks to Scotty and the guys from Heritage Driven for letting me steal some of their shop space because it is cold as a mother outside and I really didn't want to do this. We got the control arm swapped out, we've got the angle kit swapped out, it's all GK Tech now, and we got the new radiator in it. So we did a whole lot today and couldn't thank Scotty enough for this. He is a freaking man. Skip band practice to help me out because I only have a week left because like with everything else I do, it's late. 
So I am going to make an appointment at the alignment place, nut and bolt this thing, tighten some exhaust bolts because it is a exhaust leaking mother. Uh, drive it around a bunch, make sure the coolant is bled, and then take off on a 3,000 something mile road trip.